What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles. And I figured I'd hop on and do a quick video. I have two unboxings here, two books that came in the mail yesterday. I know what they are. I don't know which one is which, but I figured I'd jump on. I haven't done like just an unboxing video in quite a long time. I usually open, uh, open books up, then come on and show you guys what I picked up. But I figured, you know what? Might as well do something, come on here, hang out, and actually open them while I got you on camera so we're going to do that we're going to go through these boxes open them up before that i want to remind everybody about my 500 subscriber giveaway uh, if you haven't checked out that video please do all you have to do is like share subscribe and comment on that video and you're automatically entered if you want to do a little bit more you could do all that plus do a short video telling me what was your favorite pickup this year that was comic related let me know that you made a video and you would be entered twice into the contest uh, other than that, we're just hanging out on this Memorial Day weekend and figure let's just open some books. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We're going to start with a smaller one that actually came in a uh, USPS mailer, which I don't mind these if they're obviously, if they're raw books. If they're graded books, that would be a big issue. Uh, thankfully, these two books are both raw. Anybody who's been watching my channel lately knows I'm on a huge raw kick. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but I, uh, I've i been collecting a lot of raw books lately. And I do have some more awesome stuff that's still coming in the mail, but there seems to be stuff coming every day lately. Which is good, but it's also a little bad because I'm also not really watching what I'm spending. Which is not good, but either way, um, I've sold some books too, so that, that, that helps out. So inside this mailer is actually... And I'm not always a fan of this, but they actually cut up a priority mailbox and then fold it over to put the books in, or book. They did use some uh, painter's tape, which I always enjoy because that's what I use most of the time as well. And believe it or not, inside is another folded priority mailbox. So they did take some e extra special care, so I'm okay with it. It's not like just in an envelope. I thought it maybe might have been in a uh, Gemini, but I guess this works as well. You know what? These are free. That's the issue. If you go to the post office, you can get priority mailboxes for free. And you're not paying for them because they figured, well, they're going to pay for them when they actually go to send it out. And there you go. So here we go. This is actually the bigger of the two books, and it's a book that I have been hunting for like a lunatic. Uh, I did have a first appearance of this character that I sold recently, and I figured it was about time to sell it. I mean, it's so hot. It's such a huge book that uh, I wanted to kind of cash in while I could, even though I am searching for another copy of it. But this is what they did. They sent, they put a board in the back and a board in the, the front, or vice versa, front, back. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the front board. Just all it is extra protection, and I'm always appreciative of that, as long as the, the book's okay. So again, this is a low-grade book, but it actually looks pretty good. It is a copy of Silver Surfer number one. Now, believe it or not, this is a book I have never owned before. Never have I owned this book. There's definitely some spine wear, and there's also some wear on the, uh, the right side of the book, as is some dog ear on the bottom right corner top left corner I'll see if I could throw up a picture of this on the video there you go you guys let me know what you think it's a low grade book but uh, all these square bound books are always hard to find in decent shape I'm glad this one is still uh, not smushed and, and the, uh, the spine is not rolled it looks pretty good I wanted to shoot for a low grade copy on this book because I to me having a super high grade copy it's not always easy easy to sell if I wanted to sell it, even though this one will be staying in the collection for quite a long time. Uh, it took me forever to find a decent copy of this book. It's These are tough to find in decent shape, um, especially now with the Silver, be Silver Surfer being so hot. They're through the roof. I just sold the first appearance maybe about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I had a 4.5 CGC graded copy, and I sent that off to a nice home, hopefully. But uh, hopefully they'll be enjoying that. So that's the first book, Silver Surfer number one. This is the second book. It actually came in a box, which is really cool. 
as you can tell, it's not fitting a CG Street graded book. But I'm always thankful when, when raw books come in boxes, even though I use Gemini's, and I think they're perfectly fine for raw books. You have plenty of protection, especially if you're using uh, extra backing boards and, and extra cardboard as well. So let's see what they did on this one. Seems to be pretty good, though. By the way, both of these books were purchased on eBay, just so you guys know. Uh, the one thing I do hate is packing peanuts because they get everywhere. I have a dog who likes to pick up things. In fact, if anybody checks out that um, that live stream I did uh, with the uh, 500 subscriber video, right as the video starts, you can hear my dog snoring. So check that out if you haven't. So again, it looks like they did a decent job packing this book. Uh, however, they did use regular tape, which is always a pain in the butt to get off. So let me see if I can do that. Uh, while I have the time to talk about this, if anybody hasn't seen that video, I will be doing a new video once a week, a live video, and I'm going to pull one or two books from my personal collection, or if I don't seem to have that book yet, I will find a copy of it to show you guys. One key issue that I'm going to pull that I think is undervalued and is a good spec book. Uh, so we'll do that, and it's going to start, first one's going to start this Tuesday, I believe at 7 o'clock. I have it scheduled for so we'll do that we'll jump on we'll go live and we'll go and talk about one or two books that I think are, are hot and are undervalued right now whether it'll be by, by an MCU appearance or just because um, nobody realizes it, that it's an amazing character that hasn't actually shown up or or have done a lot yet so stay tuned for that because as I said in that video I'm a silver bronze and copper age collector I don't do too many modern things so these are books that I think have longer term value or even short short term pop value so anyway we're back to the uh the book here and again i'm just trying to get this tape off without destroying the book that's why i don't like using this type of tape okay we're almost there i think okay so it's another book i have been hunting for is my second copy of this book. Uh, from what I saw online, I thought it was a decent price. Now that I'm seeing it up close, I would have liked a better copy, but it's still a nice looking book. Um, there's a little bit of, of damage here and there. The book, the uh, the bag doesn't do it as nice a justice as, uh, as it should, but let me show you what I picked up. The other book is this. It is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight. It is my second copy of the first appearance of the black suit. I know this is a tie between that. There's this, there's the Marvel team up, and then there's a the first appearance in the ASM run, which is 252. So from what I see, there's not too many ticks. There, there's maybe one or two. Actually, that's on the bag. I see one here, but there's some other right at the top of the book. A light, maybe a nice little ding at some point. Somebody did something. But um, other than that, it looks pretty good. This one may be for sale down the road. Again, another key that I could talk about on the upcoming shows about books that I think are hot and undervalued. But we'll, we'll wait to Tuesday and every week thereafter to talk about one or two hot books. So that's it for the unboxings. I had two that I wanted to share with you guys. Both books that I think are uh, good books to have, especially in raw candidates. Not that everything has to be graded in my opinion, but... For those that like to have stuff graded, there's nothing wrong with it too. As you can see, I have another copy right there, a 9.2, that is graded. So with that said, that's it for the uh, unboxings, guys. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you. If you're a subscriber, thank you for watching this video. Like, share, and I'll talk to you guys soon.